Now I want to look at some pictures that were back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, magazines, newspaper articles, clippings, uh, propaganda that used to exist or still exists today. But here's one. It says, let's face it, you could get hit by a bus tomorrow. Go on and have a fag. Now, this was a British term, but a fag was a cigarette. This was propaganda back then. Go ahead. Hey, look, don't worry about it. You could get hit by a bus tomorrow. Go ahead and light up and have a cigarette. Here's a, another picture of an advertisement in a magazine. It says, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. The doctor's choice is America's choice. Notice this. Yeah, camels, those nasty camels with no filters. It was the doctor's choice. Now, how many people do you suppose got hooked on cigarettes because their favorite movie star, their favorite actor, their favorite, hey, maybe their favorite doctor was saying, go ahead, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarettes. How many people honestly, and it really wasn't their fault, they were deceived, got hooked on cigarettes because of this kind of advertisement. Here's another ad. This one's funny. It says, blow in her face and she'll follow you anywhere. Now, some of you ladies are going to have to tell me if this is a turn on for you for, to blow smoke in your face. But th listen, this was the propaganda. Look, propaganda is never the truth. You just repeat it over and over and gullible uh, uneducated people will fall for it every time. Yeah, I'm going to get that girl, I'm going to blow smoke in her face, and that's going to turn her on. Propaganda. Okay, that's all it is. Now, we all know that people who smoke take off at least 10 years of their life expectancy. Does the Bible speak to this issue? Well, sure it does. Uh, 1 Corinthians 16 and verse 19. What? Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own? You know, to me, this is common sense. If you are sucking in smoke into your lungs, it can't be good for you. But again, you know, we live in a world filled with deception. So if you are deceived, it's not complete. it is not completely your fault. But remember, the Word of God will cut through all the deception that is in the world. Now, I have found that people can justify anything from the Bible. Yeah, they can even justify smoking. Hey, here's a verse, Genesis 24 and verse 64. And Rebekah lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted off her camel. You see, Isaac, uh, Rebekah smoked camel cigarettes. <laughs> she lit off her camel when she saw Isaac coming toward her. But, no, I'm just kidding, but... Uh, people can justify anything from the Bible is my point. Now, I've seen rape justified from the Bible. I've seen incest justified from the Bible. Murder. People try to justify murder from the Bible. Yeah, I mean, they take the Word of God and they will try to justify nearly anything.